constitutional crusader. There's old glory. Out here in Colo Coloma. I think it's Coloma, Michigan. Out here with Tater Top Press. <clears throat> We're gonna hit the library first. See what they think. Right there. Right there. I think that's how you say it. Coloma. Coloma. Hi, Tatiana. for the kids over there. Nice little library. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys need some help? No, not no. Okay. We're just not going to. What is, what is that thing? I think it's still under that. Right here. That. Yeah, what is that? So, we are. If I could reach it, I'm a shrimp. We are a demonstration site um, from the Library for the Blind. Okay. This is a device that, like, it looks really old old that plays cassettes for like people who are blind but not just blind like let's say you're autistic and you need to listen to a book um, or if you like have arthritis and you can't hold a book open so you've got your book that's on the little cassette and you put it in here, and it's just like one of those old-fashioned tape players from back in the day. Okay. But the um, the state will send them to anybody, and you used to have to have a doctor to get signed up. Right. Well, they now decided librarians can do that. So that's we're cool. allowed. Yeah, we're that allowed to give you authorization to get these. So that's a very cool thing. Yeah, that so, is cool. Yeah, you just pop the cassette in, it plays it. I mean, it's just like an audio book. It's just a weird special for right that. so mm -hmm. yeah you've probably another never way seen for the government before. to waste money <laughs> but if you, if, i mean maybe but if you can't hold a book like we get I mean, sweet it's great yeah, yeah we get sweet little old people and they say oh i can't hardly hold a book and then the paperbacks but they could small. just put it on a cd or a dvd 
instead they, of creating something new. Oh, um, well, I, but this has like newspapers. It has hundreds of books. Right, okay. Like every book, you know, like some of them want their Harlequin romance or whatever. Right. So this gets that. So That's pretty I don't cool. Know. I mean, it's pretty neat. Yeah, it is neat. So, awesome. Well, thank you for letting me welcome. know what that was. Yeah. It looks strange. It, like it, it did. Looks, it looked like something old. But you and I are of the age when we remember the old cassette players. You don't. Probably. I almost thought it was an eight track player. I used to use a Walkman, so I kind of. <laughs> well, we only did just get rid of VHS tapes in the last five years. So <laughs> sometimes it takes us a little second. Right. I still have an eight track player at home. Do you? Yeah. Um, I heard cassettes were coming back, but I don't know. Records don't know. are definitely. I have one so, more question okay. for you. Do you guys by chance have the book called The U.S. Constitution for Dummies? I'm not sure we have that dummies one, but let's see. If you don't, I would suggest you guys get it because it breaks down both the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Do you know what year it was published? I do not. Okay. Well, I'm the library and I can probably answer that. I'll have to look. But, but yeah. second edition is the one you want. What makes that one better? Uh, it's a little bit more informative than the first edition. Oh, oh, so you meant like second as opposed to like a fourth edition. That's why I was asking. I thought, is there a later edition? All right. No, there's just the first and the second as far as I know. It looks like we don't have it, but we are part of the Michigan e-library system. Mm -hmm. So if, like, let's say you were my patron. I could, yes, I could order it from anywhere else and we could get it. We don't happen to have that particular one. Okay. Um, but well, we do I do, I was going to say, we have a whole right. bunch of other yeah, books. Right, but that one, it's like really easy for any, I mean, even a, a middle schooler can understand it the way they sure. wrote it. Yeah. Well, so that's what makes it so good. Yeah, that's what those dummies books are. Yeah. I bought the, the smartphones for dummies for my father. And he's like, really? And I'm like, no, 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 read it. So he read it and he's like, oh, I can do this? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Because he was always asking me, hey, son, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I'm like, here, this will solve all your problems. <laughs> and he thought I was being a wise ass. the idiots ones, though, too. Yep. I think those are even they, again, they're not trying to Right. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yes. No. He's got it on tape. This is the thing. So, <laughs> so we don't have it. Um, I appreciate I the customer recommendation. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait till we get outside. <laughs> the internet, the internet, it lives forever. That's right. I appreciate the recommendation. If you want, we can show you other constitutional books that we've got. Oh, no, I have five or six different ones. <laughs> but you like that one? Yes. Okay. okay. Well, I'm looking. I see on, like, Amazon, the 2009 edition. Mm -hmm. That's fairly old at this point. It would be nice if they would have written something newer. Right. So that's okay. So we keep a list of all the books that we recommend that people recommend to us, and okay. if they fit in our budget, we try to get them. There you go. Do you have the Maximum Run series? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I really like those books. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, she buys the books. Uh, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's quite a few in that series. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. All, all right. Well, you ladies one. have a wonderful I day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Have a great day, ladies. <laughs> they were awesome in there. Yep. Yeah, it is cool.
houses. All right, Joe, now we're at the city hall in Coloma. 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 That's what the lady in the last town said. Please use side door. Yeah, but that's probably the door you have to go in. Hello. Nobody can come inside, eh? No, what's your uh, question? Okay. Just looking around. Oh, okay. We do uh, virtual tours for people that can't necessarily go in there themselves. Oh, okay. Cool. Have a good day. Thanks. Hmm. That's weird. City hall that you can't even step into. It's just that little tiny spot. It's, I mean, I've, I've been to a, quite a few of them that like that, but this one's so much bigger, this town. It's so much bigger than the last one. You would think you could walk into the building instead of just that little tiny vestibule. Anyways, time for the city tour. Window shopping. Sorry, I farted. <laughs> wow, okay. Should be your first can pull a house down. No, I don't think so. Maybe blow it up. No, I don't think so. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, they're coming out, too. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how about yourself? Doing good. What you guys doing? Just recording. Recording? You with the city? Nope. No? What's going on? We're independent. Independent? Yeah. Ooh, what are you guys doing? I'm just touring the town. Touring the town? Yep. Where are you guys from? Out by Lansing. Out by Lansing? Ooh, what brings you guys to Coloma? It's not touring. Even, it's not even the farm season yet. You're not even the good season yet. <laughs> We're hitting the bottom corner of Michigan right now. Yeah? Nice. You guys go to lunch and everything already? Not yet. Not yet? Ooh. No, we packed the lunch. Packed the lunch. I was going to say, there's some good restaurants in town, but packed right. lunch, I understand. <laughs> it's not perfect. Yep. Yeah. Where are you guys heading next? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Have you been to Water Valley yet? Yes, that's where we just came from. Okay, I was going to say, they have like a Paw Paw Lake Park, and have you been up to Paw Paw Lake up here? I have not. You need to hit Paw Paw Lake. Okay. There's like a little boat launch and everything. You can go up by the lake. I mean, you can go take cool, dogs down there. Cool, throw him in. Yeah. I mean, they're waiting. I mean, I walked in with my dog and everything. Right. So, absolutely. Papa Lake's gorgeous. Even some of the houses are big. Go ahead and check it out. Right on. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, you're very welcome, guys. Cool. Well, enjoy your time. Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that you came out pleasant because a lot of times banks will, and, and credit unions, will yeah. come out and say, you can't record the bank. It's like, 
if I'm outside, I most definitely really can. Yeah. I was just seeing what you guys are doing. I was like, oh, I'll come out here and say hi. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we have people with, like, drones and everything will come out and do stuff. So, right. I understand. So, yeah. Cool. Perfect. Well, you have a wonderful day, man. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. You're welcome. Have a good one. Have a yep, you, too. Heck, yeah. Look at the size of that cock. <laughs> I can see that because we're talking about a bird. <laughs> Don't let Google hear you. If I'm pointed at the big cock on the roof, I can say, look at the big cock. <laughs> if there wasn't a big cock in the video, I couldn't say anything about cock. There's a little cock too. Oh yeah, a little cock too. <laughs> That's funny. You got the little cock one? And, and big cocky. Yeah, that's pretty cocky. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> must be, they must love chicken. Yeah. Oh, check that out. They got an old gas pump handle for their door handle. That is pretty wild. I like that. It's yeah, it's welded. <laughs> 